Denise Mueller of California, an elite level cyclist at the top of her game. She knows what it takes to be number one. Set a goal, work hard, focus on victory. A calm demeanor hides a supercharged heart and will. There have been many trips to the top of the podium for Denise Mueller, but there's some unfinished business. Her mentor and coach is John Howard, three times an Olympic cyclist and an Ironman champion and the top endurance athlete of his generation. The unfinished business? Denise wants to be fastest, the fastest self-propelled human being on the planet Earth. The Bonneville Salt Flats in Western Utah, one of the wonders of the world. For more than a century, men and machines have come to Bonneville with one objective, to go fast. Numerous vehicle categories invite the bull to head down the long black line. And sometimes it's not pretty. The recent history of the land speed record goes back to 1983. The Bonneville salt flats are flooded, but a land speed attempt won't wait. The driver, Rick Vasco. The human engine, John Howard. A deserted six mile stretch of road on the Baja Peninsula has been selected for the attempt. The existing land speed record is 140 miles per hour set by Dr. Alan Abbott. After several low speed runs by the Vesco Howard team, a decision is made to move up closer to the record. But at higher speeds, the undulations in the road and the rough road surface cause the vehicle to skid from side to side. As they slowly accelerate, the challenge to stay in the slipstream becomes more and more difficult. The team reaches 124 miles per hour and a decision is made to abandon the attempt. Two years later, 1985, the Bonneville salt flats have dried out and 12 miles of flat, fast track await the Vesco Howard land speed record attempt team. John's years of racing savvy and mental discipline all come together during their record ride down the salt. 152 miles per hour, a quick trip down the salt, but it took a lifetime of preparation. Nineteen eighty-eight. Three years later, European cycling star Fred Rompelberg of Holland proclaims he should be the fastest self-propelled human being in the world. The pace car would be an indie type racer. After a series of low speed runs and some serious problems with the pace car, the team was finally moving up toward a serious record attempt. With the record run at hand, the vehicle accelerates through 100 miles per hour. Suddenly, Rompelberg is out of the slipstream and is crushed by a wall of air. He flies to the ground and slides across the salt. Fred Rompelberg has broken 24 bones. Dreams die hard. Rompelberg's body is broken, but his spirit is not. Seven years later, 1995, the flicker that burned in Fred Rumpelberg over the years has built itself into a roaring fire. 
meticulous preparation, physical and mental, a new pace car, and a new driver, and the same will to be the fastest. Team Roffelberg is finally ready to put it all together. The salt is fast, and the athlete and engine are finely tuned and ready to go. A man on a mission, Rumpelberg accelerates through 150 miles per hour and covers the final mile in 21 seconds for an average speed of 166 miles per hour. Fred Rumpelberg is now the fastest self-propelled human being on the planet. as Rumpelberg moved down the long black line. As he began to write another chapter in the land speed record book, he knew that many had gone before and many would follow. And after 20 years of no record attempts, the passion, the drive, and a team with the right stuff has reached critical mass. The Denise Mueller, John Howard team wants to write the next chapter at Bonneville. In the summer of 2015, Denise Mueller wants to make an attempt to be fastest. The Bonneville Salt Flats call for challengers and Denise has stepped up. The next chapter is about to be written. That's the way it should be.